my god, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so nervous. I am so nervous. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? So this is something that I have been looking into for so long. This is something that I've heard so many people talk about and something that I've noticed that on myself, I really need. <laughs> this may surprise a lot of people, but I'm actually a lot hairier than I look. My arms are really hairy, like, I don't know if you can see that. The hair on my body is very light in color, but they're really long and bushy and like, I'm pretty hairy. I've never shaved or waxed my arms because on my arms it just doesn't seem to bother me. I don't think hair is something that bothers me. But on my face, I have so much peach fuzz that I feel like it makes my foundation not look so good. I've heard that a lot of people actually do this and it's the kind of thing that like seems really weird at first and you're like, wait, but does your hair grow back thicker? Like, don't do it, your hair is gonna be so stubbly. So obviously before I came to the conclusion that I'm actually gonna do this, I researched and and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos to get a bunch of tips and tricks from other girls who do this. And I've noticed that it's really popular in India, like a lot of Indian girls shave their face. And just to calm everybody down from the research that I did, I found that this doesn't actually make your hair grow back faster or thicker. Think of it like a branch of a tree that like once it comes out of the tree, like the branch is thick, but then as it moves further away from the tree, it gets thinner and thinner and thinner. Same as like the hair on your head actually. If we would look at the hair on our head or the hair in our eyebrows or any hair, um, if you've ever seen an illustration or have ever seen it under a microscope, you can see that the base of it is thick and then it ends up getting really thin at the end and that's why we have like split ends. So that's pretty much the same idea for facial hair. Um, it's basically thicker under the skin and then once it reaches outside of the skin and you can actually see it so you only see the thinnest part of the hair. When you're chopping it off in the middle, you're gonna be left, when it does start to grow back, you're gonna be left with like that blunt, kind of pokey edge. So it might feel a little stubbly to the touch, but your hair is actually not thicker. And I guess also one of the reasons you really notice it when you're shaving is because you're cutting them all off at once. Like think like your lawn. Like if you cut the grass, if you're cutting it all evenly, it's growing back evenly. And that's why you see it like as a flat surface and then it's growing back kind of at the same rate, you know what I mean? If you're waxing or tweezing or threading, basically you're pulling the hair from the root, but some of them are not all being pulled out right from the root, and then they're all growing back at different rates and different heights. So that's why you don't really see that like flat surface if when you shave, you know what I mean? Like if you think about your legs or wherever else you may shave. <laughs> anyway, so basically what I'm trying to say is that if this doesn't work for me, and I find that I don't like the way this is growing back, it, pretty much if I just stop, um, eventually, like, my hair will just go back to the way it, it really was. So it doesn't change your hair for life. This isn't like a lifelong decision and that's why I don't feel so frightened to do this, but I am still nervous because I am going to shave my face. <laughs> Essentially what I want to get out of this is two things. First of all, I do want that exfoliation. Basically, shaving your face is a really great way to exfoliate and remove the dead skin cells and then allowing for whatever skincare to really penetrate better into your skin because it's not being trapped by a layer of dead skin cells or hair. So in a lot of parts of the world, shaving is actually the treatment, the preferred treatment for curing pigmentation and acne, star acne scars and things like that. So that's one reason I want to do it. And the second reason I want to do it is because like I said, I have a lot of stubble, not stubble, like peach fuzz, actual blonde peach fuzz that you would never see on camera, but I see it. And when I'm wearing foundation in the sunlight, you can really see it. It makes my foundation not last as long and makes my skin not look as defined. So I'm hoping that that's what's going to help change what the shaving is gonna do. I'm like actually nervous, so I'm not speaking properly. <laughs> anyway, so one of the tips that I found on YouTube was not to do this on a dry face, because just as you would use a shaving cream or coconut oil or something like that when shaving to not get like razor burn and to not cut yourself, the same for your face. So basically what I did was, um, a lot of people will wet their face, but I wanted to just go that little bit extra mile as opposed to just being wet. Um, so I actually put a nice amount of my favorite serum. This is the Dermalogica Biolumin C Serum. I love this stuff. Um, so I've already applied it before and I'm gonna just apply a little bit more now just to make sure that my skin is nice and wet and dewy so that I don't like cut myself. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm so nervous. The funny thing is, it's like I know how to thread myself. I just don't do it. I hate it. It hurts so much. I hate threading and I feel like it always leaves bumps and like 
I get pimples when I thread. I'm not gonna do my upper lip because that's somewhere that I actually do wax and I wax it on my own at home as well. I buy those little like V strips and I just wax my upper lip by myself. So let's get into this. In the picture, the girl is shaving her face. And like I said, I bought these in Tokyo. I've actually never seen these here in Israel. Um, if you guys know where they sell these, then let me know. I've never actually searched, to be honest. So maybe if I looked for them, I would find them. What color should we use today? I think we're gonna go for the blue. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna come like right in and, and zoom you guys right in and come a little bit closer to the camera because I really want you to see what I'm doing. A lot of the videos I found on YouTube were kind of from like far away and you can actually see. So I'm gonna bring you in real close. Okay, so we're probably like the closest you've ever seen me. <laughs> we're about to get real intimate. Okay, so the razor is protected. Let's take that protective cap off. I have to get even closer. Oh, man. So basically from watching all those YouTube videos, I understand I'm not supposed to like go in right to my face because I could cut myself. I'm supposed to shave downwards because if you shave upwards, you might get ingrown hairs. So I'm going with the growth of the hair and pretty much just like pulling the skin taut. And here we go. Oh, my God. Oh my God, this is so scary. Oh, I actually did get a hair. Okay, can you see that? Oh my God, it's so scary. Oh my God! It's hard to like get the hang of it. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. It's all about the direction you hold it in. Oh, okay, so now I got a whole bunch of hair. Wow, like so much blonde hair. That's insane. I can like already feel how this side like looks more defined because I don't have that like fuzz kind of distorting my face. Do you see that? That you can already see like a definition here? I'm wondering if you can see that. Whereas this side kind of looks fuller. Oh wow, that's a lot of hair. It's really hard to show you. There you go. Can you see that? That the little hairs? There you go. Maybe if I actually don't do it. Oh, there, not on the, my hand. You can see all of those little blonde hairs coming out. Now, I know, I know a lot of you watching are gonna be like, what, Ashley, your hair is so blonde and thin. Like, why are you doing this? I'm telling you guys, I have a lot of it. <laughs> so basically, I can hear where I don't have any more hairs left because I can actually hear it cutting through the hair. So when I go through my face, if I don't hear that anymore, I know I've like taken off all the hair from there. Okay. Wow, that feels so good. I, st I can still feel some though. Like I don't think I got them all. But I actually think it's a good thing to like not get them all because then like I said, they'll grow back at different rates and then I might not just have like a layer of new hair all at once. I can totally feel the difference between the two sides. Like that's amazing. So I'm just gonna be really careful because I do have some bumps here. So I'm gonna be extremely careful on this side. Oh my God, look how much. Oh my gosh, you guys have to see this. There's no way you don't see that. Oh my God, that's insane. Look how much. You know what's actually good though? Like I can see that I, I can see that I'm like really properly exfoliating and my skin is really good because I don't see any skin coming off, like just hair. So I guess I don't have that many dead skin cells. I guess my exfoliation routine is really good. Oh my God, I'm like going to town on this side. I can hear it. It almost sounds like munching, like There, I got like the fluff hanging off me. Oh my God, that's so funny. I don't know if you can tell, but I can definitely tell that like my skin looks better. Like almost like there's less of like that overcast on my skin, you know what I mean? It's, it's not as blurred. Like you can definitely see my face structure a little bit more, it's more defined. And I think my skin looks a little bit more glowy. Like, is that possible? This is not something that I would recommend teenagers to do. Um, keep in mind that hair growth is directly correlated to hormones. And when you're a teenager, your hormones are going nuts. So you might actually have a period of a few years where you're really hairy and then it might actually go away. So don't do this if you're a teenager. I would say wait until you're at least 20. And then if you are doing this, like make sure you're doing this with like a proper facial razor and don't just take your dad's razor and do this like no I'm gonna do up here a little bit because this is also somewhere where I'm pretty hairy oh my gosh this is scary though because you definitely don't want to go near your hairline gotta be careful and careful around those brows definitely don't want to be taking off your brows oh my god these hairs are so long this is crazy you see like you see how long my hair is on my forehead I'm a beast I told you Okay, I think I'm done. I don't want to like overdo it. Um, I really love this. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my God, like my 
skin is just so glowy and just feels so smooth and I feel I feel like I can like see my face better like I almost feel like before there was like a filter like blurring my skin do you know what I mean I just I love this so much I'm so curious to see how my makeup is going to apply so I'm gonna do that now I'm going oh I feel like there's like little hairs all over me though <laughs> So I'm gonna put my hair up and do my makeup. Okay, you know what's so annoying? I have all this like growth from the after pregnancy hair loss. Look at this. This is so annoying. I have like, look at that. Like what is that? It looks like I like had a bad haircut. Oh my god, it's so ugly, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna go wet my sponge, which is dirty, but I don't care, and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so definitely, like, 100%, my foundation went on so much nicer. It just looks so flawless, really. Like, I love this foundation as it is. I use the La Mer Soft Fluid Foundation, which I love, but, like, now, oh my god, it's, like, next level. Next level. This is, this is amazing. This is just, this is just so nice. If you'd like to see the full tutorial of how I did my makeup today, then you can find that on my Instagram page. That's at Ashley Waxman Bakshi. So yay, I'm so happy I tried this out because I absolutely love the way my makeup looks. And yeah, I think this is definitely going to be something that I'm going to be incorporating into my routine. Don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know what your thoughts are on women shaving their faces. I'm, I'm hooked. I'm, I'm, that's it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Is this like embarrassing? Do I need to like hide this from my husband that I do this? Is this the kind of thing that you'd be embarrassed to tell your boyfriend? Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts. I'd also really appreciate it if you hit the like button to this video. That would let me know that you appreciate the fact that I shaved my face on YouTube for the entire world to see. Have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Love you guys.